Charterman, 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 Those of you that have been subscribed to me over the years, I've never done an April Fool's joke video. Hey, what's up you guys? Sharmus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends toy review on the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Red Hulk. I want to give a big thanks to Sean Long for letting me borrow this figure so I could do a review of it. This is a figure that I think is cool, but if you're somebody that's out there on the market looking for a Red Hulk figure to get, I do not suggest getting this one. Definitely not my favorite. Uh, as, as I said a million times before, I love the Select Hulk figures, and I have the Select Red Hulk right here, and I just think this one's just better, man. I mean, he's huge, too. I mean, just look how much taller he is and everything, and more massive. I just think it's a better looking figure overall. I really like it. It does have less articulation, of course, and if you want to see a review of that, you know, I have it up. But uh, I'll link to the review of this figure is down here. But back to... So if you compare the color red between this one and the select, it's actually different. The Marvel Legends one is a lot brighter. And this one's got a much darker look to it. So this one is a little bit brighter. But, you know, I don't think one's necessarily better than the other. I think this one is very comic book accurate, though. It's, it's well painted, and especially at that time before Hasbro really kicked things up, okay, <laughs> before Hasbro kicked things up, you know, I thought it was pretty decent as far as paint detail goes and whatnot. And as far as the size of him, you know, he's not a huge build-a-figure, but he's not, you know, like regular 6-inch scale kind of size figure, like at least compared to Ares or Ronin. So here he is next to Quicksilver right there. So, you know, he's he's got decent size to him and everything. So, But he runs for like 50 bucks or something like that, and I think that's supposed to be a good deal. So, um, Whereas the Select Red Hulk, you know, you can get him for 20 bucks easily, especially because they've recently re-released him. And as you could tell just a second ago, the head did pop off. His head's not really on a joint, and it is a Build-A-Figure, so it's not supposed to... You know, it doesn't really matter too much anyway. But I think they did a good job on the paint detailing. I do like the black shading throughout the figure. If you angle it right, you could see the black shading right there on the chest and everything. And uh, throughout the arms. I'm not really doing a good job of showing that. But there, that looks a little bit better. You can see it. So, I like that, you know. Big fan of the paint shading. So I think they did a decent job of of their paint apps, except for on the pants. The pants look like it has no shading at all whatsoever. That kind of sucks. And I wish they painted his toes, you know, you know, as opposed to the Select Hulk. He does have, you know, the the gray toes right there. Come on, you guys, paint your toenails. Go on. So uh, the articulation isn't too bad on him. Like I said, not the greatest, but you know, not. You know, not seriously lacking in any way. Like I said, it's just on a ball joint, so it moves up and down like that. So it doesn't really look look up, but you can pop it off and kind of, you know, with some other figures, kind of like half it on the top right there. It looks a little better. Um, he has ball joints right here on the shoulders, you know, forward, out, bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, and, you know, it's almost a 90 degrees right there. Not too bad. He has uh, wrist articulation, goes sideways and up and down, but no finger articulation whatsoever. He's stuck in this fist pose, which isn't bad, okay? You know, there's some Toy Biz uh, figures that you can't actually get your Hulk into fists, so if you're going to leave it in a position, this is the one to do. He has a good ab crunch, so that moves very far, and waist articulation. He has ball joints right here on the upper thigh, thigh swivel, single jointed knees, and his ankle moves side to side and up and down a little bit. Uh, there it goes. I don't like this part right here. It doesn't connect well. I think that's poorly sculpted out. I just don't like how that looks. Kind of like a big gap or something. He does have hole pegs at the bottom of his feet. So that's pretty cool. Now that's a Build-A-Figure Select Hulk. It's the same thing as the uh, more recently released Hasbro Green Hulk. And that's a lot cheaper than this. So, you know, just overall, I, I just don't think it's the best buy as far as getting a Red Hulk. Some people like it a lot because it does look like Ed McGuinness's artwork. You know, a lot more than any, like, well compared to the select but um you know i just i just don't think it's he's worth the money but not a bad figure just wish he had paint detailing over here and i don't know it's just not that great but all right that's my review you guys i'll catch you later say goodbye everybody Bye. all right Future productions out